my name is Bruce, and I've been working bar in hell for an eternity. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this spectacular Halloween edition of Bar Talk and Cocktails. We've got a lot of ground to uncover. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> oh, how rude of me. My fangs are showing. I only use my fangs to bite people. <laughs> Excuse me. Much better. I am Dracula. Welcome. But originally, I was Vlad the Third, Prince of Lashia. Many have nicknamed me Vlad the Impaler. You might know me better as Dracula, meaning son of Dracul. My father was surnamed Dracul after being appointed to secret order of Christian knights known as the Order of the Dragon. In Romania, Dracul means dragon. But now in modern Romania, it has evolved to mean devil. Hm. Devil, really? I am no devil. I may have done a few devilish things in my lifetime, but I am no devil. I was a leader, a defender of the Christian faith, a Romanian hero, not a monster. I've been around for a very long time. Born in Transylvania as the second son of my nobleman father, Vlad II, Dracul. The year was, uh... 1431, I believe. Uh, such long time ago. It's hard to remember how old I really am. Yes, it's true. I lived in time of constant war. Treachery and revenge rule the day. That hasn't changed much, has it? <laughs> you see, Transylvania was the frontier of two great empires, the Ottoman Turks and the Austrian Habsburgs. My father was called to diplomatic meeting in 1442 with Ottoman Sultan Murad II. He brought me and my brother Radu along, but the meeting was actually a trap. We were arrested and held hostage. My father was released if he agreed to support Ottoman policies and under the condition that he leave my brother and me behind. Now, history reports I was treated reasonably well by current standards of time. Ha! <laughs> that my younger brother and I were tutored in science, philosophy, and, and the arts and trained as horsemen and warriors. Ha! I was imprisoned, hauled away in chains. And my father? Oh, my father. He was murdered while my older brother, Milcha, was blinded with red-hot iron stakes and buried alive. As you can well imagine, I was not too happy. I hated the Ottomans. My blood was boiling. I vowed to spend the rest of my life fighting to claim my father's title. Circumstances of my release from Ottomans, I, I don't remember. I'm old. Shut up. I suck your blood. Now, this may be gory for some. Viewer discretion advised. My wrath would drove my anger against my enemies. Although the Vatican uh, once praised me for defending Christianity, it disapproved of my methods. I tortured, I mutilated, I mass murdered. I did not shy away from disembowelment, decapitation or skinning my victims alive. My preferred method of execution, though, was impalement. I would drive wooden stake through the bodies of my enemies and leave them to writhe in agony. This was warning to others. The bodies would remain on stakes as vultures nibbled the rotting flesh. <laughs> I remember one time I had as many as 20,000 victims impaled on the banks of the Danube. And that was when the Turks advanced and halted because the Sultan could not bear the stench from the decaying corpses. <laughs> that too funny. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. 
I did especially like to set table and dine amongst the impaled bodies. I would even dip my bread in their blood. <laughs> oh yeah. It gave me energy. Reportedly, I was killed in battle December 1476, fighting the Turks near Bucharest, Romania. My head was cut off and displayed in Constantinople. So they thought. <laughs> so, what have I been up to all these years? I've been bartending. Bartending for a very long time. You see, working as bartender, you meet a lot of people. Young people with fresh blood. <laughs> you don't believe I've been bartender? Look closely into my eyes. Today, I thought we'd make a modern classic by an ancient. A drink I call the vamp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you a cocktail, the vamp. So we first begin with a, a small piece of ginger, very small. Um, oh, an inch, two inch piece of ginger. I'm just going to cut that up right now. So what I've got here is uh, that little piece of ginger. And uh, I just cut it up, skinned it, <laughs> skinned it like I uh, skinned my victims. <laughs> and we're just going to drop that right into our shaker glass portion here. The next thing is I have this wonderful syrup that I made just for this cocktail. Um, it is a tarragon syrup. I mean, when was the last time you used tarragon? And the recipe how to make tarragon syrup will be at the end of video. We want half ounce. Next, we want to muddle. Muddle. Oh, I could have muddled my victims this way too. <laughs> Put them in the big pot and get the big muddler, the big muddler, and muddle their heads. <laughs> you want to muddle into mush. It only takes a couple minutes. That look pretty good. Oh, ginger and tarragon. Next is the Russian standard, vodka. We want one and a half ounces. Followed by Cointreau. We want half ounce Cointreau. We have fresh pressed lemon juice. I've already pressed it. We want three quarter ounce. Fresh pressed lemon juice. It's good for your cuts. <laughs> I like to use lemon juice on my victim's neck. It causes a little more pain. <laughs> Next, I have some pomegranate juice. And that gives it a slight blood color. We want to add some ice. Pop a lid on and uh, shake it. Shake it like, uh, shake it like you're quivering when you see me coming. <laughs> to bite your neck. <laughs> a quick shake. 
not too long. I have a nice little cocktail glass, chilling with ice, and double strain into chilled cocktail glass. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. As you can see, this is not your typical bright red, fake, blood-looking drink that you see on Halloween. This drink is elegant. Those drinks, although they look cool, they taste like sh Okay, let us garnish. I have two pieces of candied ginger on peak. And I have some tarragon here, fresh tarragon, and we take sprig of tarragon. And we pop that into the drink too. Oh yeah, how beautiful is that? Beautiful, beautiful like me. Okay, let's taste this f Look at this masterpiece. I know it's going to taste good because I am a, a, a few centuries old. Oh, I get the ginger right off the bat. And thank goodness it's not garlic, eh? Ginger I am okay with. The ginger warms the throat. <laughs> warms the throat, ready for me to bite. I taste the orange. I taste the tarragon coming through very nicely. And the lemon just balances all the sweetness out. It is a beautiful thing. You make this cocktail. It is guaranteed not to suck. <laughs> oh, can I help you? You look a little lost. You also look very familiar. I don't know what you're complaining about. I obviously gave you immortality. I don't want immortality. I want a drink. I think we can make that happen. What happened when me, Dracula, uploaded illegal content on YouTube? Count suspended. <laughs> and what's up with all this smoke, eh? This is beautiful drink. You subscribe, you check out other video, other Halloween video. If you don't, I come over, I come over in the night and I suck your blood. <laughs>